Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the skin and what it can tell you about the health of your liver. Your skin can give you some really good clues about a potential problem with your liver. And of course, my disclaimer here is that this is for informational purposes. You're not going to diagnose anything from this, but it will give you some powerful information to then go and get a proper evaluation from your doctor. Okay? Let's get into it. First, it's your body's main filter. Everything you eat, drink, or take, medication, alcohol, food, it all gets processed by the liver. It detoxifies harmful things and gets them ready to be removed from the body. If this system backs up, those toxins build up in your blood. Second, the liver is a factory. It makes bile, which you need to digest fats. It also makes really important proteins. One is albumin, which keeps fluid in your blood vessels, and it also creates most of your clotting factors, which are the proteins that stop you from bleeding. Finally, it's an energy warehouse. It stores sugar as glycogen and releases it when you need energy. The problem is the liver is very resilient. It can function even when it's 75% damaged. That means you can have a pretty significant liver problem for years without feeling sick. By the time you get symptoms like fatigue or pain, there's often a lot of damage already done. That's why these skin signs are so important. They're the external clues to an internal problem. Okay, the first sign is itching. This isn't a normal itch from a bug bite. This is a very specific type of itch called cholestatic pruritus. It's a deep, persistent itch that scratching doesn't seem to help. People with this often say it's worse on the palms of their hands and the soles of their feet. It also tends to get much worse at night, and it can really interfere with your sleep. What's interesting is that the skin usually looks normal. There's no rash. The only irritation you see is from the constant scratching. Standard antihistamine creams don't work for this because the cause isn't a typical allergic reaction. So, what's happening to the liver? The liver is supposed to produce bile and send it to the gut. When the liver is damaged or the bile ducts are blocked, that flow of bile slows down or stops. This is called cholestasis. The bile and all the things in it, like bile salts, have nowhere to go so they back up into the bloodstream. These bile salts then get deposited in your skin, and that's what is believed to irritate the nerve endings and cause that intense, deep itch. If you have a widespread itch like this without a rash, and especially if it's on your hands and feet and worse at night, you need to see a doctor. They'll likely run a liver function panel to check your liver enzymes. This can be a very early sign of certain liver diseases, so getting it checked is key. The second sign is one you've probably heard of jaundice. This is where the skin and the whites of the eyes turn yellow. When you see this in an adult, it's a major red flag for a liver problem. Jaundice is caused by a buildup of a yellow pigment called bilirubin. Bilirubin is a byproduct from the breakdown of old red blood cells. Normally, the liver grabs this bilirubin out of the blood, processes it, and gets rid of it through bile, which is what gives stool its brown color. When the liver is failing, it can't process the bilirubin anymore. It's like the factory's assembly line is broken. The bilirubin just keeps building up in the blood. It's a yellow substance, so it stains the tissues, making them look yellow. You see this first in the whites of the eyes. You might also notice your urine gets very dark, like tea or cola, and your stools become very pale or clay-colored. That's because the body is trying to push the bilirubin out through the urine, and it's not getting into the stool to give it color. Jaundice in an adult is a medical emergency. You need to see a doctor right away. It's not a wait-and-see symptom. This is usually a sign that liver disease is already in a more serious stage. Okay, sign number three is easy bruising or bleeding. You might find large, dark bruises on your body and not remember how you got them. Or maybe a small cut just won't stop bleeding. This is what we call coagulopathy, a problem with blood clotting. You might also see tiny, pinpoint red or purple dots on your skin, which are called petechiae. Those are basically tiny little bleeds from the smallest blood vessels. 
You might also notice your gums bleeding when you brush your teeth or getting frequent nosebleeds. The fourth sign is a couple of vascular changes you can see on the skin. The first one is called spider angiomas. These look like a little red dot in the center with tiny blood vessels radiating out, like spider legs. You see this a lot on the face, neck, and upper chest. If you press on the center, it will turn white, and then you'll see it fill back up with blood from the center out. Having one or two can be normal, but if you start seeing a lot of them, it's a classic sign of liver issues. The second one is palmar erythema, or liver palms. This is a blotchy red appearance on the palms of the hands. It's usually on the fleshy parts at the base of the thumb and little finger and is typically on both hands. The mechanism for both of these is related to hormones, specifically estrogen. One of the liver's many jobs is to metabolize hormones. When the liver is not working well, it can't break down estrogen properly, so your estrogen levels go up. Estrogen causes blood vessels to dilate or widen. That dilation of the tiny blood vessels right under the skin is what creates the spider angiomas and the redness in the palms. It's a direct visual sign that the liver's regulatory function is off. The last category involves changes in skin color and strange deposits under the skin. First is hyperpigmentation. In some chronic liver diseases, the skin can get a grayish or bronze metallic look to it. You see this a lot in a condition called hemochromatosis, where the body has too much iron and it gets deposited in the skin. Second are xanthomas. These are yellowish bumps of cholesterol that deposit under the skin. You might see them on your hands or elbows. A specific type called xanthalazima shows up as yellow, soft plaques on or around the eyelids. What's happening here is a failure of the liver's metabolic function. The hyperpigmentation is from an imbalance of hormones and, in some cases, minerals like iron. The xanthomas are a direct sign that the liver can't manage fats correctly. In certain liver diseases where bile flow is blocked, cholesterol can't be cleared from the body. It builds up to extremely high levels in the blood and starts depositing in the skin. Those yellow bumps are literally pockets of cholesterol. Seeing these, especially around the eyes, is a very strong clue that there's a problem with fat metabolism, which is often rooted in the liver. Okay. So to recap, we have itching, jaundice, easy bruising, spider angiomas and red palms, and then skin discoloration and cholesterol deposits. Sometimes you'll see these signs in combination, which makes the picture of a struggling liver even clearer. The most important thing is what to do about it. The goal here is to be proactive. First, if you have any of these signs, especially jaundice or easy bleeding, you need to make an appointment with your doctor for a proper evaluation. Second, think about supporting your liver health in general. The big things are to limit or avoid alcohol, which is very hard on the liver. You also want to cut down on processed foods, sugar, and unhealthy fats. Focus on a diet with plenty of vegetables. Maintaining a healthy weight is also critical, as fatty liver disease is becoming the number one cause of cirrhosis. For those of you who have been on my channel, you already know the importance of a healthy ketogenic diet and intermittent fasting for liver health. If you're new to my channel and want to learn more, I'll link a video down below. Your skin is an amazing early warning system. By learning to read these signs, you have the power to catch a problem early and get the help you need to protect your liver. Alright, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions.